Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome back to the Bandit 1200. Yeah, now today we're tackling the front end. Hey. Tell us about the front end. <laughs> the bike? You do behave like a complete idiot. Yeah, yes. that's right. It's <laughs> yeah, about a bike um, to do. <laughs> right, with the headlight, it does look very, very dated. Um, on my 1250, I actually had a twin light conversion on it already, but that was before I bought it. Yes. So today is new for us. We're going to be doing the twin headlight conversion. I cannot believe, it's, it's quite a popular design here with a big single headlight at the front. I cannot believe how much it modernizes it just by having It looks the so twin dated, headlights. doesn't it? It does, it really does. So, well, let's just never done this before. It's kind of my first time doing this. Hey, something we've never done because yep. the bike you had already had it on it. First yes. of all, I think we should have a look at what is actually in the box. So where did you get it from? I bought it off eBay. I think it was about 66 quid. Why is it so cheap? Just not bad. It's not too it's bad. The way the world's they going. do them in black and chrome. I wanted chrome because although black is really nice, I wanted to break it up a little bit. Bang, bang. Yeah, obviously I haven't opened these up yet. <laughs> so is this, I haven't even done my tree, is it a plug and play or is it going to be... I don't know. Once oh, again, okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> right, okay. We'll find out after Come this commercial break. Guys. Yeah, so wow, that's the that twin headlights it. there. Yep. I've measured that to there, so it will fit perfectly. Well, with the Bandit being such a popular bike and it's a, a popular mod, I'm hoping it will be... I'm hoping that's what they've sort of designed them for. I know they're sort of... Yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll universal, see. but we'll see. <laughs> it's never straightforward, it's is universal. it? universal. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, let's have a go. All right, so we've never done this before, but first step is obviously removing the bolts so we can see. Well, duh. Yeah, now we're going to remove this first, off. which is, yes, it's some sort of wind deflector, or, well, I don't think it is. Actually. And it works really well, doesn't it? No. That was sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, there's four bolts holding these, four mil Allen keys. Sweet. So we'll remove this oh, yeah, and see what's good, behind yeah. there, apart from bird crap, I can see on the cable there. <laughs> <laughs> this bike was sat for a while, like yeah. you said in the reveal video. Yes. I've got to say, we've had some really positive feedback on this, haven't we? Since the, um, yeah. the reveal video. Everyone knows, even I knew a bandit, and the whole 1200 thing is just bonkers. Yeah, um, now we have taken it out for the little tester, but we are going to do a little, first ride video of this. Yes. Now, like I said in the reveal video, I've been on the back. And I went on the back of the TT600, the whole frog thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that I really like that, didn't I? You were leaning over me, wasn't I was it? leaning over. It's like a frog mating. Not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the extra, the power is just, um, you didn't even go full throttle, did you? But just I going just up the hills. The hall, yeah. And Kenny lives in on a mountain, so it's like, they're going up the hills and I was insane compared to the TT600, so. Uh, yeah, you just definitely feel the difference. Sainsbury's taste the difference. Even when we took it out. To ride is such a nice just, bike. Yeah, just a nice experience. It is, I really enjoyed it. I don't know if they're standard, but either way, uh, on the standard, standard one, you'll have the indicators attached, so be aware. <laughs> I'm glad you were gentle with that, because if you just I'm go pretty, to rip yeah, it off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the indicators are actually going here from factory. Oh, so that so, might not be the case then. Yeah, right. this is it. Now, these Fair are little, little, tiny ones, aren't they? So. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, that reveals then the headlights, which is... That's <laughs> a bit of foam there. Yeah. <laughs> might need that. No. So we got what looks like two bolts there. Yeah, what are they? 13s, 14s? Well, 14s. Right, so Kenny's loosened the two bolts. Uh, either side, but they do seem to be just spinning. So what we're going to do now, we've noticed a screw there, and I'm guessing, screw there, see if we can get the face off. Like that, <laughs> like film. that film. His face. Oh. <laughs> uh, and yeah, let's, let's see what that reveals. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, we've achieved race bike look. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> so, uh, race bike look. If this is what you want, mm -hmm. end the video here. Right, yeah. job done, thanks for watching. So, yeah, literally two screws holding it in, uh, connectors off, and yeah, literally the bolts there, so they should come off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Jinxed. Just, I just looked at that, it looks like that snapped previously, and that one's a bit dodgy. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm glad it's not my bike. <laughs> 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 mm, there's one very naked looking bandit. Uh, my only thing is, quick observation, it's a H4 connection. I'm guessing it's a H4 bulb in it. And, uh, yeah, and I got twins here. Yeah, not H4. Nope. 
this is what we are dealing with. It is. Two of them. And if you've got to buy an adapter or something. Yeah. Cut, cut and splice. Cut and splice. <laughs> as well. So we're going to cable tie some of that and leave these ones exposed a sec just to tidy it up. Good thinking cuz I'm a little teapot. <laughs> <laughs> what I've decided to do, we got a H4 bulb in it as standard, right? Yep. This comes with two H4 bulbs. Oh, so, yeah, H4 are they? Yes, okay. They are. Yep. So what I've decided to actually do <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize you dissected them all. Oh yeah. So I've been working on the how trying I to know, get the no, comms yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. someone's been busy. <laughs> So yeah, what I decided to do with it, uh, basically, is strip this one unit down, yep. and I'm going to use the H4 connector off the bike factory yeah. into that one, All right. and then I'm just basically going to bridge it from this one over to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm using here is I've used these connectors, yep. which use a scotch lock on the original uh, wiring Oof, harness. I I locks. know, I hate them. <laughs> and then obviously that just connects into it. So yeah, we'll yeah. try that. Okay. See if it works. The theory is there. Yeah. And this is another thing when we, this is the problem with bikes, because it is a universal uh, item in there. Yes. So with any universal thing, you should always be prepared to do minor modifications. That is actually a very good idea of uh, doing it if it works. Well, uh, the idea is it'll there. Work, we'll, we'll it'll see. work. It'll <laughs> work. Right, so initial fitment of the lights, they are on. Yeah, they're on. Now with the wiring. Nah. Here we go. Because it's already a uh, H4, what I've done is use the original fitment. Basically bridged off this one, because obviously we've got a twin now. Yes. So I'm going to fit this into this one, and I'm hoping... Hoping. <laughs> yeah, because most connections, are, you've got like a positive and negative, yep. and sort of a signal or whatever, but yeah, so it's literally bridging. The theory should work. We shall yeah. find out now in a sec, yes. though. Let's plug it in. Drum roll, please. Ooh, Ooh. it worked! Is bloody hell. All right. <laughs> Faith. <laughs> well, I should have recorded all the thing of you throwing all the bits that wouldn't connect properly, but... High beam, low beam, yeah? yeah. That's obviously what that is. Yep. That's flash, that is. Yeah. So you high beam, low beam. And you yeah. the little 501 side lights, are they... That's really terrible, but yeah, they yeah, are. Working. Yeah. Ah, so we knew it was going to be a bit of faffing about and a bit of fabrication so all it was was effectively we say bridge and it's literally turning those two into one channel and then splicing that into the original into the original harness. one yeah because otherwise it was going to be chop everything and then connect to one and i just thought what's the point in that so yeah, yeah. so that was easier to do it scotch yes. tabs is how we did it then i know a lot of people hate scotch tabs i really hate them too because they were just all being <laughs> yes so <laughs> but <laughs> sorry for the editing inside of that but yes they were just really really standing at me those were yes so i'm gonna take this apart now i'm just gonna just finalize i got a, the rubber seal to go over this yeah that was a, basically a mock fit yeah um, it was it was just to make sure it actually worked so we're happy with that i have to get some leds now sorry i was thinking that <laughs> yeah well we, at least we know how to, yeah, how to take them apart and that now and just from a quick thing there it makes it look so much nicer <laughs> yeah so say so i'll get it all buttoned up now and see the actual result yes now, before I get run over. <laughs> get out of the way. Now, when you're messing with anything to do with, uh, well, front lights anyway, there are legalities involved. One of the main things that you need for an MOT is your headlight alignment. On the standard bowl, you had an adjuster screw at the bottom that will give you uh, movement to adjust it up and down. Now, on these, it's actually a bit more simple. <laughs> yeah, it is. Literally just the actual adjustment is sorry is the, the yeah yeah so you've got bolts either side and the whole thing rotates so this is just a rough hmm. <laughs> i know with cars i really i don't know if it's the same well, what i've bikes, gone so. to is if you look remember we've done your peugeot 107 yes the top line there was what we had the differences with the led hmm. so it's actually more to the top line than the bottom oh, okay it's better i think well it's not i don't think it's gonna be blinding like that is it? no it's just the main thing very dim, anyway. pretty dull anyway <laughs> like the rider <laughs> Looks much better that looks though. Does it? <laughs> I just say I haven't even looked at it properly <laughs> since I buttoned it all up. Oh man, that is cool, isn't it? Well worth it. I, I think it's talking about modernising yeah, a bike. It has made it more Street Fighter style, haven't it? Adulken. Yes. Adulken. As said to me, OCD, that, man. <laughs> ah, that's Street Fighter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going to put it oh, on the cool. centre stand a minute so we can actually see it. There.
Twin headlights done and installed. Yeah, now um, I've always I wanted to do this since the day I bought it, and I think I pretty much ordered them straight away. I I? Yeah, I don't think I wanted to take it out without doing, yeah. <laughs> but we had to take it out. Yeah, now obviously that's done and dusted. We have got new levers on the way because the one is broken. Uh, we're going to be doing braided lines. I want to change these shrouds here to chrome. Yep. Once again, to break it up, because that is all People cracked and damaged up on it for, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, then meant maybe try and do something with this little shroud thing. Yeah, because I don't think they do, because these are universal bits, they don't really do a specific no, they don't. thing to go around it. No, this is it. Might so have to get creative, but... That's the other option, yeah. <laughs> yeah but you got yeah. to cut stuff up again. <laughs> yeah, obviously I want to change the mirrors as well, just to freshen it up a bit. And then we will be doing a couple of other little bits and pieces as well. Yes. And we will actually be taking it out. Yeah, that's <laughs> at today. some point. Yeah, yeah, we got to do a full video on that. So. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. But yeah, for now, that is the Bandit 1200 project coming along very nicely. But for now, I think we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Woo!